Welcome back to another Matic Prize prediction analysis video. And at the time of this recording, Matic continues to slightly hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies at around the 0 0.784 mark and a break above that with a successful retest then i will be expecting to see matic trade above the 0 0.8 dollar mark in the next coming hours matic has also continued to obey the edio 12 structures and zooming out on the charts to give you my edio 12 analysis you can see that after seeing our significant low down here at around the 0 0.4973 dollar mark on the 11th of september we saw this consolidation over here then we finally saw the breakout to the upper side in a move that gave us a high above the 0 0.9832 dollar mark completing the formation of this edu 12 count one to the upper side and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of these wave two whose minimum target areas i have highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that i came up with using the fibonacci connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one giving me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.618 and that is between the 0 0.7984 dollar mark and the 0 0.682 dollar mark which is an area that you can easily see that we have seen a pullback into the area and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and maybe in the next coming hours the moment we see a break above resistance and significant highs then we can easily see an impulsive move to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and assuming that we have a low in place for the second wave then using the trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave i can get a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is above the 1.5357 dollar mark which is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do before we can expect a wave 4 then continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5. We also need to have in mind that there are also chances that maybe we might see a rejection at our key area of resistance at around the 0 0.78 dollar mark and in case such a movement plays out then we can expect a pullback back into this red target area over here maybe give us one more new low in the formation of this wave 2 then finally confirm that we have a low in place and then see a reversal to the upper side breaking above significant areas of resistances and significant highs in an impulsive move to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 that is the alternative that we need to have in mind in case we don't see a break above resistance and jumping to the daily chart to now give you my long term early 12 analysis that i'm expecting to play out once the bull market is here here on the daily chart you can see that back in 2020 we saw these lows down here before we saw that aggressive move taking us to all-time highs above the 2.9 dollar mark completing the formation of this edu 12 count one and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two whose minimum target areas we have now fully maximized which is the area highlighted on the charts using this red target area over here and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and in the next coming weeks or maybe months we can see an aggressive move to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 
and that is above the five dollar mark which is the minimum that we can expect that we have three to the upper side to do so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the magic chart on the short term and also on the long term and i hope that video was of much help to you and i hope to catch you in the next one